Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. I feel led to share this word with us. God pressed it in my spirit and I feel led to share it with you. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. God says you are blocking his blessings upon your life. He says, I should tell someone, you are blocking his blessings upon your life. Why the Bible is clear that the grace of God can always cover up for our sins, but it doesn't override the fact that we have to pay the consequences of our sins. When we rebel against God, there are consequences for our actions. It is true that we cannot earn the blessings of God, but we cannot equally receive the blessings of God with closed hands. When our hands are closed, we cannot receive the blessings that God wants to give to us. It is true that every good thing that comes to us is a product of the finished works of Christ. It is not by our works, neither by our righteousness, lest any man should boast. It is a product of the finished work of God. But the Bible says that God is not mocked. A man shall reap what he sows. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8, Galatians 6 verse 8, it says, For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Whatever you sow, that is what you're gonna reap. So even though you do not do anything to earn the blessings of God, you have to do something to be able to receive the blessings of God. One of the ways you block the blessings of God upon your life, one of the ways you block the blessings of God upon your life is when you live consistently in sin. No good parent wants to reward their children's misconduct by blessing them. You want to you want to punish them so they know that what they are doing is wrong. You want to deprive them of some things so they are going to understand that what they are doing is wrong. When you rebel against God, you cannot receive his blessings. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 6 and verse 18, it says, The persistent and fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. Your prayers cannot easily be answered when you are living in sin. The Bible equally says in the book of James chapter 4 and 3, it says, you ask and do not receive because you ask and miss that you may spend it on your pleasures. When you are living consistently in sin, your pleasures do not glorify God. Your desires do not glorify God. And so when you ask God for something, he's not going to give you because you're going to spend it on your, on your pleasures that does not glorify him. When we live in sin continually, we block the blessings of God from coming into our lives. Another way we block the blessings of God upon our life is when we don't ask in prayers. You have to bring your request to God and table it to him in prayers. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 16, it says, until now you have not asked. Ask and you shall receive that your joy shall be full. Ask and you shall receive that your joy shall be full. And the Bible says again, the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 and 8, it says, for everyone who asks receives, and for he who seeks finds, and for him, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? Then, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So one of the prerequisites to receiving is asking. What you don't ask, you're not entitled to get. God has everything and is abundant in love and he wants to bless us. But if you do not ask him, you cannot receive, though the blessing is already there for you. So when you don't ask God anything in prayers, you are blocking the blessings of God upon your life. You do not necessarily have to make very long prayers like the Bible says in the book of Matthew that we should not make very long prayers like unbelievers who keep repeating things and repeating things, but you must at least ask God. Be humble enough to ask what you need from God and he's going to give it to you. When you don't ask him, you are blocking his blessings upon your life. In addition to asking, you have to back it up with faith. 
The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but with thanksgiving and supplication, make your request known unto God. When you've asked for something, you've got to back it up with faith. You've got to know that you're serving a God that rules this universe and that has everything in his hands and he is willing to give you. You have to back your request with a level of faith. When you back your asking with faith, God cannot resist. God is going to answer you. Jesus talking, the Bible records that Jesus got into a place. There were so many sick people there, but he could not heal them because of their unbelief. They did not have faith. When you ask, you have to back it up with faith. When you don't back it up with faith, they were just mere words. And therefore, you block the blessings of God upon your life. Another way we block God's blessing from our life is not believing that God himself is the best blessing we can ever receive. Most of the time we concentrate on the material blessings that we can receive from God and we forget about the blessing we have in Jesus, about the blessing of salvation, about the blessing of having God as our Father. The Bible says that we should not lay up our treasures here on earth where moth and rust can come and affect them, when, where thieves can break in and take them away. But our treasures should be laid up in heaven. We should be glad that we have an inheritance among the saints. We should be glad that we have a life after now. The Bible says where the treasure of a man is, that is where his heart is. So are your treasures on earthly possessions or on or are you kingdom minded? Are you happy? Are you happy with what you are doing for God? Do you concentrate on the things that matter to God? Are you kingdom minded? Are your efforts geared towards expanding the kingdom? Are you grateful about the gift of God to you? And are you giving back by expanding the kingdom, by seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? The Bible says when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, every other thing shall be added unto you you block the blessing of god upon your life when you don't seek his kingdom first our first and the best gift god can ever give us is by having a relationship with god through his son jesus christ when we acknowledge this blessing and celebrate it and thank god for it we open the door for many more blessings in our life but when we don't seek first the kingdom of god and acknowledge the blessing of jesus upon our life and acknowledge that God himself is the greatest blessing we could ever receive we block the blessings of God upon our lives. I pray that as you listen to these words, your mindset is rearranged, your priorities are rearranged so that you can be in a position where you can receive the blessings of God. I pray that as you listen to these words, they come and sow seeds in your life that will grow. I pray that able to apply these principles that God has given us so that we can be able to open up ourselves to the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. If this video minister to you please kindly consider to become a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content you are going to know i love you shalom god bless you